This is How Much Should I Spend, where we test a product at various price points to let you know which is the best value for your money. Today, I'm going to be testing out four kinds of body makeup on my legs. The products that I'm going to be trying out today are Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs, Dermablend Leg and Body Makeup, KKW Beauty Skin Perfecting Body Foundation, and All Even Color Shield. I feel like I think of the term body foundation and immediately I go, that's so unnecessary and extra, kinda dumb. Why would anybody wanna spend their money on that? Well, it has a lot of uses aside from just evening out skin tone. It can help cover up acne, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, psoriasis, and a bunch of other skin conditions. I'm gonna be testing out each product on how well it covers, how transfer resistant it is, and how long it lasts. So now I'm gonna test out all of these body makeups on my legs, wear them to the gym, and come back here to give you guys my final rankings. I have two cream formulas and two spray formulas that I'm testing out, and I do know that creams tend to cover a bit better than sprays do, but this is really gonna come down to how transfer resistant these things are and how long they last on my body. Let's start out with our cheapest option, and that is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This retails for $12.99, and you can find it at pretty much any drugstore. Oh, it smells. Oh, it's cold. So that's what it looks like in my hand. It looks like melted chocolate. In terms of coverage, I feel like I can still see a lot of my scars and my little dots and bruises, but it's not terrible for $12.99. I feel like because it's also a spray formula, it's gonna be harder to cover more. Next up, we're gonna try out the Dermablend Leg and Body Makeup. This retails for $34, and it also has sunscreen in it, which I think is really, really cool. This is a cream formula, and cream formulas like this one do say setting with a powder extends their transfer resistance and longevity, but I do feel like I wanna test this out on its own just to see how far along I can get with it. I feel like I did buy too light of a shade in this formula as well, so let's just see. Oh no, I bought way too light of a shade. Oh no! I'm completely changing my race. All right, we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. We're gonna blend it in. Difference in the shades of my legs right now. <laughs> I look like people's two people standing next to each other. Anyway, shade choice aside, I do think that this cream formula did cover a lot better, just as I expected it to. The coverage is kind of wild though. Like, it looks like my leg is a mannequin leg. <laughs> my leg doesn't even look real. Next up, we're gonna try the KKW Beauty Skin Perfecting Body Foundation. This retails for $45, which is pretty pricey, but it seems like it comes with a lot of product. And body foundation is one of those things that I don't think you're gonna like use a ton of. Kim Kardashian made this because she does use a lot of body makeup when it comes to red carpets and photo shoots, but she also suffers from psoriasis, so this stuff kind of helps her cover up any imperfection on her body. I'm just gonna take some in my hand, Ooh, that's what it looks like. This looks a little bit more brown, but it doesn't look as brown as me, so we'll see. So there's my bruise right there. The Sally Hansen didn't do a great job of covering it up, but this might, considering it is a cream formula. Oh, it's too light! <laughs> forget it, forget it. We're gonna, we're, it's gonna be fine. I feel like I can slightly still see this bruise, but very slightly. It definitely looks way more covered up than it did with the spray. I really like how this looks so far. I'm really impressed with the coverage. It also, it smells really good, kind of coconutty, which I really like. Finally, I'm gonna try out the All Even London Color Shield Body Enhancer. This is a spray formula and it retails for $80. Yes, $80. I was really convinced to use this one in this video because this is actually what Beyonce's makeup artist Sir John uses on her when she's out on stage performing. She sweats, you know, she's dancing. She's being incredible. Oh, oh, I see it happening. That's so weird. Oh wait, this smells really good. Did 
actually looks really good. This one also has a bit of luminosity to it. I can see like little sparkles throughout it. That looks really good, <laughs> even though my legs look like two different colors, but what's new? I think that I'm really impressed with that color shield. I feel like for $80, I would be disappointed if it was anything but amazing. So now that I kind of have a first impression on how these body makeups work, let's see how long they last at the gym. I'm finally back from the gym and tonight's the night that I tested out the Sally Hansen airbrush legs and that Dermablend leg and body makeup. Let's see how both of them held up these past few hours. So I have the Dermablend on this right leg, which is the cream formula, and I have the airbrush legs on this leg, which is a spray formula. I gotta say, looking at them up close, not too bad. So this is the side with the Dermablend and it definitely transferred all on my sock. So that's not great. Now let's check out the Sally Hansen one. There's like a slight brown tinge on this leg. So definitely not 100% transfer resistant with both of these formulas. So here are my legs after I got home from the gym. The all even is my left leg and the KKW is my right. And I gotta say, if I had to pick one winner, I would go for the all even, so my left leg, because this leg looks so gorgeous and bronzed and smoothed. However, this leg, even though it does look really smoothed out and even, I don't know what it is about this formula that it just looks a bit cakey. Like looking at my legs up close, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, it just doesn't look like normal skin. It definitely looks like you're wearing makeup on this leg. I was expecting these to look like a hot mess at the end of the day. Like I was expecting to see sweat marks dripping all down them and running, and I have none of that. Pretty much they look exactly the same. If anything, I'll say that the KKW has kind of rubbed off a bit, a little bit. There's that bruise that I tried to cover up before. I can still see it and it looks in my opinion, a bit more obvious now after the day is done. Here's the sock that I wore to the gym and it does have some transfer from the KKW foundation. I don't think it's like an obscene amount. I'm actually really impressed that it's not like coating my entire sock, but like you can very slightly see like a brownish tinge from the makeup. The all even sock on the other hand has absolutely no transfer, which is really shocking and impressive. After testing out all four of the body makeups on my legs, I think I finally have a winner. And that winner is the all even color shield. Yes, I know that is my most expensive product at $80. Everybody, let's take a deep breath. Let's calm down. I have a lot of reasons for picking this one as my winner. After wearing it for a few hours and wearing it to the gym, it was still super full coverage, but didn't look unnatural on my legs. It didn't look like I was walking around with little mannequin legs. I was super sweaty after the gym and the color shield managed to stay on my skin and not on my clothes, which I really, really liked. And even hours after application, this stuff still looked exactly the same on my legs. I was so impressed. Like no wonder Beyonce uses this stuff. Like if Beyonce likes it, it can't be bad, but I was really, really impressed with this product. I did not think that I would like it as much as I did. The biggest loser was definitely the Derma Blend. I don't even want to talk about the shade because that was, that was on me, that was my fault. But the actual formula itself just looked really, really cakey on my legs and very unnatural. And it also was the least transfer resistant out of all of the products. So if you're on the market for a body makeup, I'd say splurge and go for the all even color shield.